So I'm Maisie, everyone, and for my work experience, I'm going to Dow Corning, which is in Barry over in Wales. This is a silicone manufacturer, one of the largest in the UK or world. Don't really know which one. And I'm going to be working at the dock side, and they also asked me what shoe size I was because they've got to get me work boots. So it's going to be quite hands on. That's cool. Yeah. For my work experience, hi, I'm Libby. <laughs> and uh, I'm not saying hi, I'm Libby, for work experience. I'm going to a printing factory. It's about it. Printing what? Uh, sort of packages. Like, like 3D printing or like card printing. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to Airbus on their work experience program. So I'll be doing different days in different areas throughout the offices. I'm going to DE here in Nelsey. <laughs> Interesting. What did you do your, your work experience? Um, I, I, I worked at an outdoor centre for my work experience. So I was supposed to go to an engineering company, but it was when it, every, like, the recession hit, so they were closed. Oh. So I didn't get there. But I went when I took my gap year, I went to work at Rolls Royce for the year through the year in industry scheme. In Bristol, I was a helicopter service engineer, so looking after things like the Apache engines and the Seeking engines. That's cool. All well, that stuff. It was really good fun. I would really recommend that one. Um, and now I'm back as a graduate engineer. So I work in the additive manufacturing team, looking at metal printing, so how we start to build stuff up, um, and seeing what we can do. That's so I had like, I want to visit. Yeah, it's more than welcome. So we kind of had to rip up the design rule book, really, because you no longer have to like machine it down. You can like build stuff up and put stuff in the middle. Mm -hmm. You couldn't, you couldn't machine in the middle. So that's it's really very blue sky. It's quite interesting. So um, I think that women can bring a lot to the engineering industry actually because we're quite organised people you know get the job done quickly within time and we're mature as well so we kind of we focus on what we're doing we don't like sidetrack we tend not to argue too much and we definitely involve like everybody's ideas whereas some of the men they want to be in control and doing one thing like, you know, and then working together it just doesn't work <laughs> it just doesn't work like, everyone's trying to take control then everything just clashes and like, Nothing gets done. To be honest, it's less about needing just women in the workplace, it's more about needing a diversity and like different ways of thinking. So everyone like you can't just say men and women are good at different things, but every individual is different. So I've met some women that are really analytical and they work really well on their performance, that's probably what I've met. Some women that love organising big groups like team playing, so you need to have a whole range of people to do all these rest of different jobs. But the fact that if there isn't the diversity to find that range of people that's kind of more, it's getting better, slowly, slowly. Like Thanks to programmes like this where we get to do stuff. And I know there was Girls Get Set, which has been run by lots of companies to get girls involved in engineering that we have been involved with. Yeah, I think also um, when people think of engineering, they think it's quite like a manly job. But I think that puts people off at our age yeah. because we kind of girls kind of assume, oh, why do you do that if it's for men? Which is a massive shame. It's like anyone can do any job. Yeah. Exactly. Which is why I came here. <laughs> I think this proves, this proves it. This is our plane. This is Seed the Dog 2.0. 2.0. 2.0. Yeah. Inspired. It was inspired by the Forest And the plane design was inspired by the Thunder Screech, but the body ended up a bit different. Oh, I've got a really stuff. Do everything slowly. This is the finale. <laughs> Go. Oh, my God.